Hey, Don here. Okay, I got uh, got me a new chair, office chair, and uh, <clears throat> need to unbox. I'm gonna unbox it and put it together. And uh, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. I've actually been needing to uh, get this done for, um, <laughs> I don't know, ever since. It's, today's the 11th uh, last day to return it, is my point. Uh, so I haven't I got it at Walmart. And... Uh, I didn't open it. Um, it. This is how it came. Better show that part. Uh, pretty well beat up. And it had been opened before. You can see it was just taped back up. And uh, it had a hole there. It's a kind of part that's wrapped up in foam that's that had poked out of there and then shipping. And I don't know if you can read that, but it's... Uh, Enzma Home Products. It's a Chinese so-called gaming chair. Uh, I was just trying to get something that I thought would be comfortable for me. Uh, and these kind of chairs are everywhere. Uh, and this exact looking chair. Uh, that Enzma, I don't remember that. Man, let's see, I've got the thing up on the computer where I bought it. It's called a. It was delivered on September 11th, and uh, this is October 11th. So I had a month, and I, I, this today's the last day. If there's anything wrong with it? Gaming chair, high back computer desk chair, adjustable swivel executive test chair, and uh, that's on my where I ordered it. But uh, anyway, I, I'm only using the camera. I'm not using uh, you know the whole desktop setup it would just took me too long to get it all set up so uh, just get, I just wanted to get it done but if there's not you know if there's no miss this it's you know it's real hard to uh, sift through the reviews anymore because they're, when they do start getting bad reviews I don't care work well, Amazon and, and Walmart that's generally where I get stuff uh, <clears throat> They, the sellers have figured out if they start getting bad reviews, they'll just uh, cancel that. Call that a you know they'll cancel it and then put it on as a new product, but it's actually the same product. Anyway, uh, I kind of decided of all the ones I had, this one would probably be okay. It had pretty good reviews <coughs> when I ordered it. Now there's all the how-to on putting it together. And let's see here. Yeah, there's that part that was sticking through. Looks like it's where uh, it's the base where the leg where the wheels go on. So uh, let's just start. Okay, here's the arms. Not gonna ever untie that stuff, so I won't even try. Uh, Just gonna have to cut them open. I like the colors, red and black. But... But, uh... oh. There we go. Here's our arm. I keep, I keep wanting to hold it up high, but I don't need to do that. Okay, there's an arm. Looks okay. I saw some on this particular one. Well, you know, I looked at so many, but some of these chairs like this, they arrive with missing parts and stuff. So, hoping that's not gonna what's gonna happen to me. And uh, oh yeah, it has a this. Oh, it's got two pillows, one for the neck and one for the back. I'll start 
putting these bags into this. This looks like a decent enough bag. There we go. So yeah, uh, the chair I have is doesn't stink too bad. That's probably the yeah that'd be the neck pillow, and that other one was the back pillow. Looks like. Okay, uh, seat, and, oh, the footrest, yeah, it, it's supposed to lean way back, like, on, you know, 170 degrees or something, just basically almost lying down, uh, so this, uh, part here does, does that. I mean, this is the footrest for when you do that. That's what I'm trying to say. And, uh, oh, I see. Yeah, it does that. Well, that's kind of weird. Huh. Turn it the, right, the way it belongs, and let's see. So that's how it slides. I've, and these are not real... On any of these, they're not super strong. You can break them, but... Uh, hopefully I'll be careful with it enough. See this? Well, I keep talking about the chair I'm in. I can't, can't, can't really see it, so I won't talk about it. But uh, the... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... See how it does it. Oh, I see. You pull it out, and then you flip it up. And then it'll stay when it's sitting in the setting position. Okay. This one. Here for now. And this will be the back. Okay. Hopefully, my chair I have I've had since 2004. And actually the the base. Oh yeah, one of the wheels broke off of it. It had a metal base. And I look for, uh, I'm going off and about it again. Anyway, the seat itself is in good condition, but I got a different base on it. But now the, where the wheels hold in is wore out in there. I've been fighting them for several years. They're, they want, they don't want to, you know, turn and all that. They hang up. That was the main reason I started going to get another one. I just, I hurt myself several times and I hurt my ankle pretty bad recently. Uh, you know, wrestling it, trying to get them to, Get the uh, wheels to go the way I needed them. And if you don't get them right the right way, then it can turn over on you. One, my old chair, the one I'm sitting in right now. So this back, I thought this is that faux leather. I thought it was going to have a a cloth. I thought it said it had cloth in here because this may sweat the heck out of me. That's that's the thing I'm. Concerned about that. Hopefully, it won't. I mean, I've seen pictures of them where these. Oh, crap. My chair's not hitting the camera with tripod with my. Uh, with that. I don't know where it all went. Let's see. Oh, I guess that was okay. Yeah, as long as my work area... There's the chair that I keep talking about, the one I'm sitting in. It's got this... Uh, I forgot the name of it now, but it's a... It's a synthetic clo uh, cloth, soft stuff. Never hard, never, never sweats me or anything. Uh, it's very comfortable, and it's been very durable. Now, the new ones with that cloth, they must have quit making it good, because... And it's made... The cloth is made in China. The chair was made in Mexico. Old Mexico. And, uh, if you, old Mexico, that's what us Texicans call it, uh, to dis discern the difference between New Mexico and Old Mexico. <clears throat> if you just say Mexico when you're around here in Texas, some people think you mean New Mexico, some people think you mean the state in the United States, or some people think you mean Old Mexico, the country. But I bet a lot of you Europeans didn't didn't know that. Sorry, didn't mean to say that in a weird way. 
Okay, here's the... Uh... <laughs> Never even thought about that. <laughs> just, just one of those things that comes out when you least expect it. Uh, anyway. Yeah, okay, screws. Screws and stuff. It's pretty well organized, anyway. It's supposed to be pretty easy to put together. But I do see... Oh, yeah, I think I got... I was wondering if I was going to have to, like, try to pause the video and go out to the garage to get some more tools. I have some in here, but I, I have my my DeWalt drill, cordless drill, and the uh, impact. I don't think I'll need an impact, but anyway, I've got a whole set of bits and everything in there. Now, here's the little wheels that come to it. Well, they sure you have short shafts to hold them in there. I hope that part that they go into is... Good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now we're getting to the bottom of it all. Okay. So here's the. Uh, I'll throw them in there for now. Now it's a metal base. I didn't remember. So that should be all right. The other one was a metal base. Uh, but it was, it had some little, the one that come off this chair, but it had some things welded here to, uh, to for the wheels to go into, and one of them broke off. And, uh, also what I did, I keep on saying, what I did is I bought a whole other chair. This is a, vi the one I'm sitting in is a vibrator and all that stuff. I got to where, I, I used to like it a lot, but I got to where I didn't ever, I haven't used it in years. I don't even know, I guess it would work. I'm not sure I know where the power supply is, but, uh. The uh, okay, now here's a brace that goes to help hold up the back, I think, if I remember right. And uh, there is the part that holds the chair itself. Oh, yeah, that brace is going to go in there. But I'll let it. I looked it over quite a bit in the pictures and the videos, so. I kind of remember that. I think it's going to go like that. It's different than uh, a lot of them you see with that in that particular part there. It has lift. Uh, lift. Both of them say lift. Oh, okay. One's for the seat. The other one's for the back. And then you can tighten up the... Uh, I guess that's how you tighten up the uh, this, that part there. No, it's tightening. That would be tightening this spring, I think. How much this part will move. Okay, so. Let's get this. Well, good thing about it is, uh, a lot of them that I was looking at, uh, they came with rusty nuts and bolts. These are all sealed in this little package, and there's no rust or anything on these. And I don't see any actual damage to it. But it worried me when I got it, because how it had been opened and all that. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Put this back in the side of here too. But on the front of it, it has signs of being in moisture. That looks like white mildew right there and there. I never did even, I was careful to not touch it. And, I, and the box just looked like it had uh, perhaps, it's either been thrown around an awful lot. I didn't, see, I don't see any actual water stains or anything so that's a good thing so i will put this box out of the way let's see if i can uh, if i can get it put together i guess i'm gonna have to get those uh oh there's an allen wrench in there 
Yes, but, you know, no self-respecting guy can just use a silly old standard Allen wrench when he's got a whole DeWalt impact kit sitting there waiting for him. I got, I don't, the drill, I like, I've, I just, first impact I've had, I've had that 18 volt drill, but I got the 20 volt batteries for it now. Uh, you can control the speed on the drill over there better than uh, the impact, but well, I love this impact now that I've got it. But uh, I don't need an impact. Well, some of those are pretty long screws, though. Okay, let's see. I think I just want the stuff in this. Yeah, see, I've got some sockets and some uh, bits. It should work out. So, unless I really need Yeah, I don't think I need anything else out of there. And I've got more stuff over there in the corner, corner too. But I think that'll do for what I want to do here. Yeah, I'll leave that over there, I think, unless I have to have it. Okay, yeah. Trying to get this where I can set it down. Yeah. Have a drink. Oh, I better look over the instructions first. When I was younger, I never looked the instructions unless I got hung up. But I've learned to at least go over them once before you start. I can't uh, see them that good. Let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah, build, that's what I figured, build the base, start with the base and go up. And tell you which screws to use, that will be good, then you won't have to be guessing about that. Okay. I hope all, it looks like, well, I mean, since they're all packaged like that, probably won't be missing any screws. If we were, I'd be in trouble because... <sighs> I don't have any, just a few metric screws. I bought a few recently. For some reason. Don't remember now why. Okay, yeah. Start with the wheels. And, uh, I'll just make sure everything. Huh. I'm looking at the camera. I see the battery light. It's not. It's blinking, but it's not showing low. I have it plugged into power, so it should be all fine and dandy. It's still recording. All right. I just don't remember. I don't. I usually use the camera. I plug it in, and then I plug it into the. Well, I plug it into the computer so it gets. Uh, There we go. It gets uh, power and sends the video over USB to the computer. It's better to just wiggle it than hit it. Get it in there. Maybe not. Oh yeah, it is better to just line it up and do it. I always forget my hands aren't as tough as they used to be. I don't really need to use them as a hammer. I'll bruise them. Okay.
Yeah, some of them are in all the way and some of them aren't. There. Okay, yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. Wasn't too bad at all. I don't know, I see little holes in it's pla This is a plastic thing, and then, oh, that thing in there. Oh, that thing in there is metal. There's holes all around it. There may be a snap in this thing. Where's that picture? Yep. You just stick it in there, I guess. There's no way to... Sure doesn't look like that would be very secure like that. See if there's any... I see no things that look like they would... Uh, help to hold that. F and, F and G, put them together. There is something about do this, don't do that. Let's see. Says, oh, the wheels. Just telling you don't put the wheels in crooked. But F and G, the, the arms for the base and the cylinder, the hydraulic cylinder, just goes like that. It just seems there should be something to... There's nothing, no way to screw a bolt in there or anything. There's a little clip on the bottom of it. Oh. But I don't see a... I wonder if that clip, I hope that's not the part I'm missing. Seems to me that yep, it's a clip. But I don't see, but I I was, now there's no way nothing would go down in there. There's a clip there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, I think that's just holding the cylinder together. I thought maybe that you take the clip off and put a big washer and put the clip. But see, the, it's counter. It's way down in there. It's not countersunk, but it's anyway. It may just be a press fit like that. I'd just be kind of worried about if you pick the chair up at some point, it might just call come out of there. I mean, it will stay as long as you're. You know, just sat in it. I should. I certainly don't remember. Well, I don't remember how the ones I have now are. Were. It is, are, or was, is. Okay, next thing. You want to put the uh, the base plate conglomeration thing onto. So you should put this aside for a little bit. Put this together. Okay, picture. Okay, the, the screws we need are. Uh, I wish I had this somewhere where I could. I want to try putting. No, it wouldn't work. No, just, I guess you can actually see. Yeah, you can't see where I'm, where I'm setting things, but anyway. Uh, okay, we got to put this onto the seat. J screws. I don't think there's any. Yeah, there is. the The, the cardboard thing has markings on it, so we will know which screws to use. Okay, J screws. Just two of them? No, four, yeah. E, B, okay, well, let's get our. Uh, which ones are J? Oh, yeah, it's on here. J screws. 